Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Stacy Jones. I am the pastor of Uprock Community Church, along with my wife, Trinice Jones, and son, Priest, in northeast Minneapolis. Uh, ten years prior to that, um, we planted and pastored Urban Jerusalem, which was a hip-hop church plant. And it was amazing to see the cool things that God was able to do um, uh, uh, in that ministry for so so many years, um, and just to see the the miracle working power of God was an awesome thing. Um, I do want to say that I'm excited to be a part of the Black Missional uh, uh, convening of 2023, and I praise the Lord for this opportunity. Um, so, man, much props to the leaders who are a part of of this movement and 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 wanting the body of Christ to see the need for being missional in all of our efforts as we seek to make disciples of all nations. With that being said. I'm reminded of, of the Great Commission, where Jesus said, you know, go and make disciples of all nations. And that word nation comes from the Greek word ethnos, which actually talks about people from different economic backgrounds, people that don't know God, uh, different people groups, people that may not share the same customs you share. And a lot of times when we think of the word nation, we limit it to a country. But nations also can mean different subcultures. So Jesus basically was talking about being missional even back then. He was encouraging people to step inside these different uh, backgrounds, these different subcultures, and, and do everyday life with people, incarnational ministry. And a lot of times when we look at uh, hip-hop culture, many people see uh, within the Christian arena, especially evangelicalism, we treat it more transactional than anything. And um, a lot of times we're guilty of colonizing the culture or hijacking the culture or even prostituting the culture because many of us in two areas, we see it either as a, a tool to reach the loss, right? Or we see it as just mere youth ministry. And one of the issues uh, I have with both of those different mindsets is that it's not just to reach the loss, it's everyday life for people. Um, and also hip hop is not a youth ministry. Uh, it attracts young people, but hip hop been around um, even before 1973 when uh, uh, a DJ Cool Hurt, Clive Campbell, uh, had his first party. But hip hop's been around even before that. There was a lot of stuff going on in the South Bronx, uh, Queens and Brooklyn um, with a man by the name of Grandmaster Flowers, you name it. There were a lot of people that were involved in hip hop culture. It was everyday life for people. So when we talk about uh, being the missional church or being more intentional about doing everyday life with people, we have to look at hip hop the same way. Because um, I have cousins that are older than me um, that are in their 60s and they were born and raised and immersed in hip hop culture. And it's, 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 it's a way of life for them. And, uh, and they're, they have grandchildren, but they still acknowledge and, and still relate uh, with them uh, from a hip hop um, a mindset. So when we talk about uh, uh, miss, the missional church, we have to be in, in, intentional about making sure that people are engaging hip hop culture, not just for the sake of seeing people converted. Now, I do want to say conversion is necessary. It's important. People need to know who Jesus Christ is. But when we look at hip hop culture, what's happened over the years, we see that the evangelical church um, as a whole is starting to see the need for um, utilizing the four elements of hip hop, which is the DJ, uh, the, uh, the B-boy, the B-girl. Uh, some people consider it the break boy, break girl as break dancer, but I also like the original meaning, which means the Bronx boy, Bronx girl, and also the graffiti artist and the MC. Those four elements uh, make up or represent hip hop culture. But also, I do want to say that there's a foundational element, which means knowledge, right? And the purpose of knowledge is to encourage young people to understand who you are, uh, understand your faith background, study theology, study your history, uh, be fully aware of what's happening in the political realm, the social realm, what's going on in government. All these components make up the knowledge aspect of hip hop. So, I mean, excuse me, make up the not yet make up the knowledge aspect of hip hop. So when you talk about knowledge, you're talking about who are you as a person? Um, um, uh, uh, what's uh, explain to me your community? What's your community backdrop? How do you identify with your community? How do you express yourself in an artistic way by utilizing the knowledge component of, of, of who you are? How do you bring that into your art? So when we talk about hip hop culture, the evangelical church 
has come to adopt these other elements, but at the foundation, many of them are afraid to adopt the knowledge uh, aspect because the knowledge aspect can be very prophetic because it speaks truth to power. Because it speaks truth to power, it leaves us accountable as the church to identify with the racial injustice, uh, issues of bad policing, um, 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 corruption in government, okay, corruption in politics. The goal is, as an artist within hip-hop culture, is to be prophetic and to speak truth to those different power structures, calling leaders to a place of accountability. What's happened over the years, as we see in mainstream evangelicalism, sometimes we either lean to either the right or the left. And sometimes when we ascribe wholeheartedly to one of these different sides, we remain silent in certain areas of injustice. But hip hop culture has a way of calling out injustice prophetically in both arenas. You know, there's there's a lot of times there's there's no biasness in hip hop culture. Hip hop culture is naked and raw and it seeks to tell the truth. So because of that, there's a lot of evangelicals that uh, that kind of kind of like stray away from that. They don't want to address that aspect within hip hop culture. Even more, sometimes they build a uh, doctrine, theology, uh, ideology around justifying why they remain separate from those different aspects within the knowledge component of hip hop. So when we talk about being missional, especially within hip hop culture, we have to be willing to address these different areas and do everyday life with people, even though sometimes it will make us uncomfortable. Even though sometimes we may not agree with people uh, uh, theology, but the goal is, are you willing to 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 be in the mix uh, in the midst, excuse me, and mix it up with people? Are you willing to get to know people that don't think like you don't see things from your perspective? You know, one thing I've learned about hip hop culture, too, and also growing up in, in, in a city is is you can be involved in hip hop culture and you can have a church right next to a club and they're totally two different lives, uh, two different ways of doing life. Right. And they don't know about each other at all. You know, it's like two different worlds, right? There was one time I was in Boston and there was like a, a club right next to a church, right? And the funny thing about it was the church had something going on and the club had something going on. And 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 there was like, you know, a mom and pop, there was a bodegas next door to the uh <laughs> to, to the club. So in order for me, you know, I wanted to go get me a, a Arizona iced tea. I had to walk through the club and I had to talk with a few people. And then I went and grabbed my Arizona and I came back and I went inside the church. But the cool thing about it, when I was in Boston, I was able to build some relationships with people that were at the club. And the cool thing about it, there were people that was at that church that was building relationships with people at that club. You know, they were being missional. And there were people that were coming to know Jesus Christ through that church. Because they were intentional about it. They weren't threatened by that club next door. They weren't, they weren't threatened by it. They were doing everyday life with people there. And the goal is when we talk about hip hop culture, right? When we talk about being missional to uh, being missional in hip hop culture, we realize that when we remain true and we don't seek to be transactional within the culture, we can help hip hop maintain its integrity. And if we were to be honest, there's two main giants that strip hip hop culture of its integrity, and that's mainstream rap culture and evangelicalism. But the question I'm asking you as an individual that knows your, uh, knows the Lord and, 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 and as you that lives within the community, when you look at hip hop culture, are you seeking to be more transactional in your approach to reach young people or to reach people in general? Are you seeking to get them to be converted and to see if they can morph into the subculture of the church? Or are you encouraging them, hey, stay in that culture, okay? Continue to dress the way you dress. Continue to relate the way you relate. Continue to be and embody hip hop culture. But at the core, you're building into them uh, 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 the word of God. You know, you disciple them in the process. That's the goal. That's what it means to do everyday life with people. The goal is not to convert people to become more like us. We got enough subcultures going on in the church that's, that's turning people away. And, I, and what, one thing people don't realize 
a lot of the Christian rappers, and I'll just say one, like like Lecrae, he 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 basically divorced evangel evangelicalism simply because the church wasn't being missional within that subculture. A lot of us like the thought and I uh, and, and and the thought and idea of being missional uh, 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 as a whole, but can we be missional within these different subcultures outside of the church? Can we be missional? Can we? Uh, can we take a bold step and, and allow people within different subcultures to teach us? Sometimes being missional also means, yo, man, I don't know. I don't know everything I need to know about hip hop culture. I don't know everything I need to know about, you know, the gaming world. You know, I don't know everything I need to know about social media. Are we willing to be missional enough to become a student and allow people to teach us? In return, we do everyday life with them and they see our lives, which will bring the transformation and change in our lives. So I want to encourage people today, while we're at the Black Missional Convening of 2023, are we willing to willing to be missional, not just in the urban uh, context, but also within hip hop culture, which is a part of the urban experience? There's so many different subcultures within the urban experience that we don't know about. That's right underneath our nose. But many of us, y'all, were so comfortable being inside the four walls. But God is calling us to step out and make disciples and step inside that culture. So I want to encourage you today, as you're listening to the different uh, uh, presenters, know that God is calling you to do something unique in your own community. God is calling you to step out and be uncomfortable to get to know other people that don't look like you, that don't talk like you, that don't dress like you, that don't think like you, that don't see life the way you see it. But God is saying, go and make a friend. Go and make several friends. Go eat their food. Go hang out with them. Sometime, y'all, that may mean, you know what, you may need to socialize with someone by, you know, taking them to a movie or taking them to a concert. That may not be Christian. Oops. <laughs> But the question is, are you willing to be missional in your efforts to make disciples, not convert, but to make disciples? Because that's what God is calling us to do in this season and time. I believe God has been calling us to do that since the first century church when we look at the Great Commission. So I want to encourage you, go and make disciples, but be intentional. Be missional in your efforts and become a student and know and understand different subcultures. It will, it will change and enrich your life. God bless.